Since December 21st, I mean, this story is no longer just a Cal City story. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people in California City that, that um, are, are, are trying to look for answers. But so many more people, not just here in Kern County, but I mean, even across the nation have taken interest in this story. So, you know, Pearl, as you talk to these people, not just in Cal City, but across the nation, really, why are these people so invested in this story? Yeah, I mean, when the first day this story came out, we heard it was a three-year-old and a four-year-old, and we said, this is a serious, this is a serious case. Um, how would a three-year-old and four-year-old go missing? And the sentiment that I've seen repeated when I ask people, why do you care about this? There's so many people in, in Wichita, Kansas, in Canada, in London, that are buying banners for the boys, buying flyers, trying to put up and spread awareness about it because at this point, we really don't know where they could be. Right. A lot of people uh, throughout the nation and even internationally are, are trying to help out because, you know, from what I understand, they just empathize with the parents. They, they say, well, I'm a mother, I'm a father, and if those were my kids, I would be out there searching. Is that the, the theme that you're, you're getting from a lot of these, these people from not just, I mean, again, this is no longer a local news story. I mean, this is, this is spread around the world now. Is that kind of the, the theme that you're hearing? Is parents just kind of trying to relate to these, these parents? Definitely. I, I, I'm not a mother, but uh, this story has shown me the extent of a mother's love. It goes past her own children. There's mothers who, you know, are foster parents. There's um, fathers who have their own children, and they've all said the same thing. You know, I'm a parent, and uh, I, as a member of this community, care about this. And even as a member of just, you know, the foster community internationally, they, they want to help. You know, it's so interesting, speaking of parents and families, that there are two distinct families involved here. There's the biological family and the adoptive family. And I know that you have been covering this from the very beginning, and you've spoken to everyone involved. What's it been like specifically interacting with the families? Well, the adoptive parents, uh, they only spoke to us a day or two days after the boys went missing. And since then, they haven't reached out to the media. They haven't released any statements. The extended adoptive family has released a few statements. Um, I know Trizel's grandmother, w Wanda West, mm -hmm. recently released a statement pleading with the community to keep looking for the boys and uh, to help her because, you know, she loves her grandchildren and that's, she, she wants to Even see them Even saying that she home. forgives them. Yeah, she, she would forgive them if they came forward, exactly. And so uh, the adoptive family has released, the extended adoptive family released some statements, mm -hmm. but they haven't been in contact with the media at all. Uh, with the biological family, they've done some interviews, the cousins um, and the relatives have done interviews. Uh, the biological mother, I've been in contact with her. She sent me some photos of, tr of uh, Orn and Orson when the community was asking for, for more information on them. And so she's been helpful in, in trying to uh, guide you know, our story on Orn and Orson, explaining what happened when they were babies and that type of thing. But so far, you know, moving forward, we don't know what's happened.